Hello everybody, welcome to this edition of Miss J's Geek Corner. So if we talk about anything and everything that is geek, will be TV, comics, movies, and video games. And um, today's subject is, uh, I guess it is um, basically, basically it's kind of an off subject. I don't normally talk about, um, I talk about TV shows a lot on the program, but I don't particularly talk about TV channels all that much. But um, today's subject kind of been brewing for a while. Um, I was originally going to do it back in June when I was originally started. Um, when I originally I came up with this topic, but um, due to time constraints of work and everything, I wasn't able to get around to it. And then in July, there was just so much geek uh, geek related news and comics and movies and stuff that again I had to put it on the back burner. But now I'm finally able to do it because and mainly because I was scared that I was scared that my subject was going to suddenly change course and I couldn't do this one but I'm still able to do it because it's still basically the same but back in June I started noticing a very I guess y'all notice it too if y'all watch Adult Swim a lot I don't really watch it a lot but I was able to get access to it a lot and um, back in June but um um and um I was watching. I watched it a lot back in June. Um, I said. I said. No, I don't have myself. I was able to get. I was able to watch it, and, uh, pl- and um, just here and there, in places. But I noticed something very disturbed. To, that kind of disturbed me a little bit because I remember back in the days when like Adult Swim used to consist of like, um, Robot Chicken, like Metalocalypse, and some anime shows, various ones like Boondocks, for example. Um, and Futurama and stuff like that, uh, and it started actually like Futurama, but it's basically like Robot Chicken and just various st- stuff you would not see on there. Like eight o'clock hour started like nine, eleven o'clock. Well, over the years they've kind of changed their stuff now. Now they're airing stuff at eight o'clock. Well, now basically it's like rerun Central for stuff to, for stuff that used to come on regular television, and it's like um, stuff like. Family Guy and um, basically uh, stuff like Family Guy and King of the Hill and even Bob's Burgers, and they still show stuff you know, like Robot Chicken here and there. But I'm gonna say it back in June when I originally came up with this topic, it was a little bit different because I noticed a very disturbing trend. And that was majority of what was on um, Adult Swim was Seth MacFarlane related programming. And what I mean is, you look at the I looked at the back of the schedule back then, and it was like, um, I wish I had took a few photo a photo shots of it because on their website I look I, I would turn it by there, and it would be every time I turn by there it'd be like Family Guy or Cleveland Show or American Dad. That was like the majority of what was on there. And I went to looking. I went to looking up their TV schedule, and, and like every time I got access to it, I was like, "Okay, why in the world? Why is it like this every single night?" And then I finally went on their website and looked. Overwhelming majority of their TV schedule is was nothing but Seth MacFarlane produced programming, created and produced program, and starring in programming. I mean, you'd have at least. Four episodes of Family Guy on a night. Four episodes of at least two to four episodes of Cleveland Show, and four epi- three to four episodes of American Dad on, and that was like the bulk of their programming. And that was like every single night, including Saturday. And of course, in between that was like anime stuff. And um. I said, I actually sat down and looked at their TV schedule. I said, and most of it was, I mean, you barely even saw like Robot Chicken. It was relegated to like two nights a week during the week. And the rest of it was like um, Family Guy. It was like Seth MacFarlane related shows with maybe a little bit of King of the Hill and some Bob's Burgers in there. And then maybe something else would alternate a few other nights. Shoot, I think there was at least one or two times I saw all Metalocalypse on there. Maybe one or two. I'm thinking one at this point because I only saw one one rerun of a season four episode. After that, I never saw it again. Thinking its place was another Seth MacFarlane produced show, and it got me thinking. 
How is Seth MacFarlane able to have so many shows on um, Adult Swim? I mean, I remember when Adult Swim was back in the day. It was like Space Ghost and um, Harvey Birdman and just adult, more adult cartoons. And then they started, and, and, and um, of course there's Robot Chicken and stuff like that. Then I started, and I think Venture Brothers was in there too. But now, and of course, and, and I've already mentioned before, like Boondocks and I think Afro Samurai was in there too. And uh, let's think, Metalocalypse, stuff like that was in there. Now you turn over there, it's mostly Family Guy. It's mo everything is Seth MacFarlane. By everything. Matter of fact, permit me to do this. I've actually got pulled up their TV schedule for the next week. Here is, I'm going to read it to you. Bear with me. This is their schedule from August 4th today to, matter of fact, most of this is airing right now from, today is August 4th. Uh, this will probably, it'll probably air within the next week. It, it, if right now, this schedule is August 4th to August 11th. August 4, Tuesday, August 4th. You got two episodes of King of the Hill. Bob's Burger, episode of Bob's Burgers. Cleveland Show, that's one Seth MacFarlane show. An Hour of American Dad, that's two more. An Hour of Family Guy, that's two more. That's five, that's, that's two and a half hours of of Seth MacFarlane programming, and then for another, and then, then you have Robot Chicken, you got Aqua Teen, you got um, Squid Billies, the a show called China Illinois, which I don't know anything about. Then you back to it again. You've got another hour of Family Guy. Then you got Half Hour Bob's Burgers, an episode of American Dad. That's another one. You have an, a, a two another hour of Robot Chicken. Then they've put, and then since June, in the last two months, they've put Harvey Birdman back on the air. They put Harvey Birdman back on there. You got C Lab 2021. You got China, Illinois. You got Cleveland Show again. And then you got King of the Hill. So in that one night, you have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine Seth MacFarlane related episodes. That's one. Let's see. That's bear with me once again. You got um, two. You got, you got one hour, two, three, four. You got four and a half hours. Of programming, it's nothing but Seth MacFarlane produced programming. What is with that? I'm gonna, I'm gonna let me do it one more time here. Yeah, one, two, and a half, three and a half, four, five, and four, four and a half. You've actually got five hours of programming. Because you got you got on at 9:30, 10, 10:30, 11, 11:30, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, it's an hour, two, three, four, double check, you know, one, two, and a half, three, four. That is four and a half hours of programming from between. 8 p.m. to 5.30 a.m. this evening. That is nothing but Seth MacFarlane related program. Four and a half hours of, of Seth MacFarlane program. And I'm going to do a quick once over of um, August 5th. Programming of August 5th. Let's see. Give me just a minute. Really slow load. 
Um, we got basically the same thing again. Basically, a carbon copy of the exact same schedule I just read to you. One hour, two hours, three hours, four. Another four and a half hour, to, and Wednesday night, another four and a half hours of Seth MacFarlane. Thursday, yet another four and a half hours of Seth MacFarlane again. Friday, August 7th. One and a half. Two and a half. Three hours on Friday night, other than the other programming. Three hours of Seth MacFarlane related programming. Then Saturday, August 8th. You have one, two, and a half, three and a half, four. You have another four hours in between showing, um, again, it's from 8 to 5.30 in the morning, but you have, basically, they show one, two, three, four, five, six, seven seven um, anime shows but they could show more but they have on four hours of Seth MacFarlane related programming again and Sunday you have one, two, three four five Five and a, a Sunday, you have five and a half hours. This is Sunday. This is scheduled for Sunday, August the ninth. Five and a half hours of the pro, of the programming time they've got on. They get five and a half hours of that Adult Swim programming time is Seth MacFarlane related programming. And I'm gonna say it. They have definitely upped their schedule of Robot Chickens since June because it was only like. Two days they showed Robot Chicken. Everything else was wrapped up in, in um, Seth MacFarlane shows. You can see, and Monday, August 10th, I ain't going to need to read you August 11th because the exact same thing as, tonight, as um, tonight. You have one You have one hour, two hours, three hours, four hours, four, another four and a half hours of Seth MacFarlane related programming. Let me double check that again. I think I missed something. You see, Monday, August 10th, you have you know, one hour, two hours, three hours. One hour, two hours, three hours. You have another four hours of Seth MacFarlane programming amongst all that, all of Robot Chicken. And I'm gonna say I don't. I, let's, let's see. Just by doing this, let me let me figure out the math. You have one half. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's see. Let me see. See, let me try one more time. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hours of that is not Seth MacFarlane. Just based on the Monday program, it is eight hours of it is non Seth MacFarlane and four and a half is Seth MacFarlane. So in all in other words that leads up to thirteen hours of programming and just a little under half 
about 12 and a half to 13 hours of programming and almost and uh, and just a little under half of that is Seth MacFarlane stuff let me let me check on um, Sunday one more time because I said I think Saturday I think Sunday was like five hours let me see here you have one two three four five six six and a half hours of adult swimming programming for this coming Sunday is non Seth MacFarlane related stuff and as I've said before Two, three, four, five, five and a half hours. So that's almost half. It's almost split completely down the middle. Half Seth MacFarlane, half not Seth MacFarlane. That's sad. When ha when you got thirteen hours of programming. For over from prime time onward, half of your programming is made by Seth MacFarlane. It's created, produced, and acted by Seth MacFarlane. What is that? They got so many other. There used to be so many other shows on Adult Swim, and I'm sorry I took up most of the show just reading that schedule, but I wanted to prove a point. 13 hours of programming and almost half of it stars and uh, is produced produced by created by possibly written by and stars Seth MacFarlane Family Guy Family Guy Cleveland Show American Dad do you really need that big of chunks of Seth MacFarlane programming in the Adult Swim schedule like that? No you don't it's like he buys up, he's bought up TV time, bought up almost half the TV time every single night. What is that? I mean, they didn't even do that when flipping Futurama was on there. Used to, they had, I remember back in the days when they had anime almost every single night. That was the overnight programming. You had, you had like, Robot Chicken starting everything off at about 11 o'clock at night. Or midnight, even. You had Robot Chicken. You had, um... I mean, they had when they used to have Robot Chicken, they used to have Space Goes Coast to Coast. They even had a show called The Venture Brothers for a while. They had Metalocalypse. They had, um... They had that Aqua Teen Hunger Force. They had Sea Lab. And they had a lot of anime, a lot more than they got now, because now the anime stuff is stuck back on one night, except for maybe Boondocks. All the rest of the anime is stuck back on Saturday night, surrounded by Seth MacFarlane programming. At least four and a half to five hours of that. There is not that, and now, now you can compare to now. Now, you can't even turn it over there without stumbling over something with Seth MacFarlane's name slapped on it. The same old tired crap that he's been making for years now. And it's not funny. It, a lot of it wasn't funny back in the day. But now, it really isn't funny. It's just the same tired old crap. It's not funny. And it won't, and by halfway, won't funny back in the day, but it really isn't funny now because it's just the same tired mess. And the fact that they put it on in four and a half to five, or even five and a half hour increments every single night that is outrageous. And I mean, it there's only seven, I counted only seven anime programs on Saturday night. They can have so much more if they, if they want um, showing so much 
Family Guy and American Dad and Cleveland Show in our blocks at a time. Shoot, they can even throw us a robot chicken on Saturday night if they want to, but they don't. Because it's all took up by Seth MacFarlane. It's all been, I might say, almost bought up by Seth MacFarlane. That's outrageous and it's stupid. Next thing you know, it's almost like next thing you know, you're going to wake up one morning and what you're going to um, turn it over there one night and it's going to be nothing but 12 to 13 solid hours of nothing but um, Family Guy, American Dad, and Cleveland show and whatever else Seth MacFarlane decides to create. And that's sad. That one day you might turn over to Adult Swim and say, and it might say something along the lines of Adult Swim as produced and Adult Swim produced by Seth MacFarlane. That's sad, really. It's really sad. Now I'm gonna just say I'll, I'll just say my personal opinion, I don't like the fact that Adult Swim starts at eight o'clock. I mean on Saturday night, eight o'clock, you got Dragon Ball Z Kai, but Still, I don't like the fact that it's coming on at eight o'clock. It, it, it gone from starting at late at night, like it used to, to prime time. I was used to that was Cartoon Network time. Now everything is nearby Adult Swim to the point where it almost needs its own channel. I'm gonna just say it. It needs it, it at this point. It just about Adult Swim just about needs its own channel. But what's really sad about that is if they do that, you're going to have if they do that. If they don't dig up a lot of their old adult adult swim shows that used to be on there, you know what's going to happen? 24 hours a day nearby Seth MacFarlane programming. You might as well instead of calling it the uh, instead of calling it the Adult Swim Channel, you might as well call it the the Seth MacFarlane Channel. The way that the way this is going, I know I may be going a little over top with this, but think about it for a second. Just think about it for a second. Does Adult Swim needs so much Seth MacFarlane on their schedule where it's near by half of their schedule. No, they do not. Because that takes away, that hogs time away from other shows. What really makes me mad, and I'm going to say this, um, um, I, I've actually been watching the show Metalocalypse a little bit. It's pretty good, not for kids. Don't go look it up. It's not for kids. But um, recently, they announced that they ain't going to come back for a fifth season. They ain't going to be able to finish the series. What's sad to me is that a series like that can't finish, but they can bombard the entire channel with like almost five and a half to six hours, four and a, four and a half to five and a half hours of Family Guy and mess you see on Fox. They can, but they can fill up half the channel with that, but they can't let set. They can't let Metalocalypse come back for at least one more, at least a movie to finish up the series. They can't even let them do that, but they can let Seth MacFarlane basically run, uh, basically reign supreme on Adult Swim. That is just sad. That's just sad. And there's, uh, and there's probably so many other shows that couldn't finish either. They couldn't bring them back for another season. And I, and I heard that. It just made me so mad. And then, and then I saw that in June. And it's still like that. Now, you can't even finish Met, let Metalocalypse finish its series. Even with a movie that may be an hour and a half or two hours long, can't even let Metalocalypse wrap up properly. Just let it sit there in limbo forever. But you can let Seth MacFarlane have five and a half hours of programming on your channel. What is that? It don't make sense. And again, if they ever come up with a with a um, Adult Swim channel, God help us all, because it's going to be the same thing, but twenty four hours a day. You think five and a half, four and a half to five and a half, almost six hours of Seth MacFarlane programming? Per 13 hour block is bad on on late night on one channel. Imagine if they gave it its own 24 hour a day channel how much you would get bombarded with. 
It's scary. And it's sad. And as you can hear from that, no, I'm not a fan of Seth MacFarlane. I'm not... A, I'm not I'm be, I haven't watched Family Guy in a long time because it's just... Ever since it, ever since the Star Wars stuff, it ain't been it ain't been that good. I'm a, I'm gonna say I just ain't a fan. I ain't a fan of him, and I ain't a fan of his stuff. And to the and the fact that most of a channel's late night programming, thirteen hours of programming, late at night is and half of it, it nearly half of it, is he his stuff. It just makes me mad, and it. It just make like I say it just makes me mad and it makes me sad at the same time. And I'm gonna say it, and I say it to start does uh, does that do does Adult Swim need that much set performance channel? No, it doesn't. If they want to have hunks of programming at night, limit it to three. Don't be putting it on this time of the night and then almost morning. They need to limit it. Give some other shows a chance. Give Metalocalypse a chance to finish. Because I don't want to all of a sudden look at their schedule and everything on there is either Family Guy, American Dad, or Cleveland Shot. I don't want to see it, and I know there's a lot of folks out there don't want to see it either. They need to fix it. They really do. But what do y'all think? Um... Have I been rambling on about nothing? Or do y'all agree that there is too much Seth MacFarlane programming on Adult Swim? Let me know. Am I making too big a uh, Again, let me know. If I'm making too big a deal about this or y'all agree? Let me know. As always, drop me a comment in the comment box. I would love to hear from you. I'd love to hear what you think about this subject. And I guess that's all for this uh, for this edition of Ms. J's Geek Corner. I'm sorry for rambling. <laughs> If that, if I, I'm sorry I'm rambling, but I just had to get this off my chest. I really did. Thank y'all for listening. I'm sorry if I bored you. I'm sorry if I've been rambling. But again, I just had to get it off my chest. Um. And again, if y'all, as always, if you have any comments whatsoever about the show, drop me a comment in the comment box. I would love to hear what y'all have to say. Like, subscribe, share with all your friends, tell all your friends. You, you have any ideas about something you want to hear me discuss on the show? Drop me a comment in the comment box. I'm always looking for fresh new topics and ideas to analyze and discuss, and talk about on this show. So definitely drop your ideas in the comment box. I'd love to hear from you. And you never know when we may be made into a future episode of Mr. J's Geek Corner or Geek Corner Extra or Geek Corner Minute. So definitely drop your ideas in the comment box. I would love to hear you, hear from you and love to hear your ideas. And I'll see y'all next time.